Life after Breaking Bad. We all learned to love Breaking Bad. If you didn't watch Breaking Bad yet, you must watch it because it's a show which actually has an episode with a 10 rating on EMDB. So, um, so what we do, what we are watching now after after Breaking Bad ends, <coughs> I suggest strongly Vikings. Vikings is the same quality. It is a very intense show with very good actors and a lot of fighting scenes and a lot of action and a lot of like really good material here. <coughs> and it's all very real. It's not like they have CGI or something. It's all like they made this stuff. And it's actually uh, the, sto the original story of the War of the Roses from England and the Game of Thrones. People want to know that this is also the same story Game of Thrones is based on, just to say. <coughs> so, uh, the following is a show uh, uh, with Kevin Bacon about uh, um, a cult of serial killers, a, a cult around one serial killer where everyone in the cult gets a serial killer. I can say there's a lot of blood, there's a lot of death, and it's a very awesome storyline. And it's all about Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. <coughs> the Shield is, um, after Breaking Bad, one of the best dramas I, I, I can say. Um, it's about a corrupt cop and it has like really <coughs> um, a good storyline and a better ending than Breaking Bad. Uh, the Wire is something many people say is as good as Breaking Bad. I don't think that. I think The Shield and Breaking Bad are better. Um, but it's a very uh, sh show with a variety of people and a very um, um, wide spectrum. And it's very interesting. I just find the profile a bit low. <coughs> and he's a very good actor what's famous uh, with his role in this. <laughs> Broadwood Empire is about the prob prohibition time where they've forbidden the alcohol and it starts with the moment the prohibition started and the alcohol gets forbidden and they make a huge party with a lot of alcohol about it. So the crime is the uh, main story here. Um, it's like Mad Men, a very good uh, uh, quality of the old times it wants to reflect, it's like not even before Mad Men time. And yeah, very good actors in it and the Wire guy is also in it. Sons of Anarchy is about a rocker band. It's a very interesting uh, show. Shit, I said it. <laughs> it's a very um, um, brutal show, and it's um, very intense about uh, proud, uh, proud, uh, and and the things that happen if you are too proud. And it has Peggy in it and Hellboy. <laughs> um, Revolution is about when the energy is going away, and we talk about not electricity only, we talk about that everything, combustion and every way to get energy is not fun functioning anymore. Steam engine is like the maximum you can get. Um, <coughs> yeah, and especially uh, this guy here, he has never smiled in the show. <laughs> it's very, uh, very nice. And uh, he is actually playing a character who worked at Google and he's having a private plane and everything like that. It's very, uh, very nice. Um, Blacklist, James Spader, um, is about he being one of the most searched FBI, um, uh, most, one of the most searched people from the FBI, and he goes to the FBI and says, hey, come on, let me help you get the other ones. <laughs> House of Cards, one of the, sh uh, the first show produced by Netflix, and if you didn't saw it yet, you should. Obama said about it, because it's reflecting the story of White House and how uh, corruption there and stuff like that, and, and how you get power and stuff. And uh, Obama said, actually, if the government would be so efficient, it would be very nice. <laughs> <laughs> the newsroom, um, the first episode already catches you while you are in the middle of the newsroom where the uh, Deepwater Horizon accident happens. And I can um, really say that this show is, is pure action and you got a pulse every, every episode when they are getting a new topic in. And it's like really something... Um, different than the other stories. <coughs> and we have McCoy in it. Oh shit. Game of Thrones. You should watch it. Battlestar Galactica. Um, definitely also good, even if you don't like Sky Fi. Homeland is um, about a guy who was a long time uh, uh, captured in Iraq and, and coming back, and they don't know if they have been converting him and stuff. Mad Men, you should know it. Um, suits about a guy who is not really. Uh, a lawyer, but is hired by this guy as lawyer because he's a very intelligent guy. House of Lies about consulting lines and uh, uh, consulting line and telling shit about everything. I like this is very funny. Uh, Parks and Recreation also very funny about what Watson. You have accidentally given me the food that my food eats, 
and I'm a simple man, I like pretty dark-haired woman and breakfast food. And um, Modern Family with Al Bundy, and it's a very funny show with uh, also um, a gay couple, and those two are the pure chaos, and I really love watching it. Um, Hot in Cleveland, one of my personal favorites in this uh, area, because it's like with all those classic actors of, of uh, yeah, Betty White and the lady from uh, uh, Frasier, if you remember. And it's very funny, it's a bit low profile, but it's in, in very interesting. Um, <coughs> Rising Hope, if you have before watched My Name is Earl, this is like the same universe and the same level of, of disgustingness and um, very cool show. Um, and American Horror Story. <laughs> two, two.